Hey everybody, this is Jonathan Bates with Food Force Farm. Just going to do a quick video here. I wanted to show you, um, I did a bucket experiment with uh, a bunch of my perennial um, herbs and trees to make uh, a, a silage from the leaves to uh, feed to the livestock here on the farm. We have cows and sheep. I wanted to see which kinds of leaves, uh, when you silage them, uh, they would be eaten by the livestock, silage being a fermenting process, uh, kind of like making sauerkraut, but with, uh, without oxygen, uh, so that they kind of ferment, um, and they tend to get sweeter and it ha helps to preserve the nutrition in the leaf. So here's the bucket I use for the silage experiment. It's just a five gallon bucket. Uh, went out for about an hour and harvested a bunch of leaves, um, and then I opened it, and luckily, if it was just going to smell like uh, a rot, like rotting meat or, or um, spoiled milk, then that means it's bad. But if it has kind of a earthy smell, uh, has like a, a fermented... Uh, kind of molassesy green, green, dark green smell, like not quite what you smell when when grass starts to ferment after you mow the lawn, but uh, has a more nutty uh, flavor to it or smell to it. So uh, this is polonia leaf, the top, the top one. So that that worked out pretty good. Um, then as you work your way down, I did a bunch of layers of things. Uh, polonia. Uh, tomatosa, it's on that level, um, this is, um, Illinois bundle flower, which is a nitrogen fixing, uh, herb, uh, dieback perennial, uh, from the prairie, um, and that actually looks like it did pretty good, uh, but we'll see if the animals like to eat it, um, uh, polonia, by the way, is a, a, a fast growing tree with really big leaves, I have another video about that. Uh, on my website, um, and as you get down here, my next thing I tried was, um, let's see what's down here, this is, um, wild senna, uh, which is another, um, dieback perennial herb, herbaceous, but it does leave woody stalks, just like the Illinois, Illinois bundle flower, but it's native, and it's another nitrogen fixer, so that one might be, uh, um, a winner, I think for the livestock. Uh, and as you get down here a little deeper, you can see I packed in a lot. It really, really packed. Maybe packed as much as 10 pounds, 10, 15 pounds of material. Because you got you to push the air out when you do it. You really got to pack it down for it to work. Um, and then down at the bottom is my... The willow was the thing I really wanted to try. I just didn't have a lot of willow yet because it's newly planted and I didn't want to destroy the willow. But you can see here... Um, the leaves turn kind of blackish brown. Take a whiff of that. Yeah, it smells kind of sweet. Kind of a sweet, um, fermenty smell. So my hope is at least the animals will really relish that and eat it, eat it up. Um, so I'm going to take that out to the field later today and, um, hope that it works. Uh, this is my, um silage experiment with some of the herbaceous perennials and trees in my garden uh, to try to feed the livestock here on the farm. I'm here at the um, the paddock with the um, sheep and the, and the cows. I just want to I'm going to go ahead and put in the different uh, experimental forages that I've um, grown and fermented. Uh, this is polonia leaf, first pile, and then the uh, Illinois bundle flower there, and then the uh, uh, wild senna next uh, there, and then the willow next. Let's see. It's 
So one thing I didn't mention earlier was this fermenting process, after I harvested and packed it in the bucket, uh, took about a, a little over a month. So it just takes some time. It doesn't happen right away. Uh, just like if you were making sauerkraut or jun or kombucha um, or beer or wine, it's kind of the similar fermentation um, time. It takes some time to get the bacteria working and breaking those sugars down so that the animals um, can be more interested in eating it. But here's our uh, silva pasture at Shelter Belt Farm. I help Erica Frenet and her family move these animals every morning and she's gracious enough to allow me at Food Force Farm to do some forage experiments with these folks, these cows and sheep. We got some water, some mineral, and let's see if they eat these forages, these uh, fermented uh, silage forages. It's a beautiful day, but it's hot here in Brookendale, New York. All right, enjoy.